However, where there's not a lot of structural integrity is in these makeshift scaffolds that these guys make. My roof's actually going to be a 612 pitch. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. I am back at the back of my house because we always start at the front of my house. I wanted to show y'all what was happening from back to front instead of front to back this time. So I'm standing back here. The lumber continues to dwindle down, okay? So this is, I believe, the third framing video. So we had floor system, we had exterior walls and everything, and then we had plywood and some of the ceiling getting done. Right now they are finishing the last touches of all the ceiling joists. So literally everywhere we got the LVLs in, which are on back order all around the freaking country. People are waiting for those, builders are waiting for those. It's so hard to get right now. But big shout out to 84 Lumber. They got me taken care of and we got our LVLs in. They're taking care of all the ceiling joists. I'm so excited and I'm also going to be spreading some gravel throughout my back porch right there and my front porch and through the garage. So right now, let's give you a quick shot of what's going on back here. So you can see this pile of wood right here, or this pile of lumber is, I mean, it, it's down to the nitty gritty. We're looking over here, we're down to the nitty gritty. And since we got some good sunlight, why don't you follow me over here? I showed y'all before, I wanna show y'all this crawl space with a little bit of light because it's still dark, but I mean, check this out, y'all. I'm about six foot and a half inch tall. I can stand where my head is literally pressed up against the top. So beautiful crawl space here. We will get it um, all nice and insulated. Everything's gonna be great in here and some plastic down so people won't be crawling on you know rocks and everything once they come back. But anyways, why don't y'all follow me to the front of the house and I'm gonna show you what's happening in the garage. This is so excited. I cannot wait to show you and let's just get more progress. I mean, it's Nico's property show. All we have is progress here. Let's do it. Let's go to the front. Okay, y'all, so you see stuff happening in the garage, and I told you, I can't wait to show you this progress. I had to go grab my brother's trailer. I had to get a whole nother stack of lumber um, because the drivers are super busy at the lumber yard and everything like that, and we needed them so that we could get all the ceiling joists done. Check out what's going on. Check out this huge mound of freaking half-inch worst gravel. Um, I got a great guy to come drop me two trucks of these today. So this is going to go inside of there. We're gonna get that all leveled out and my soil and everything else. So my slab's actually gonna be up to here. Um, once you see my garage finished, this is where we're gonna be at. So you're gonna be able to drive into here. So all this is gonna be filled up with dirt right here. So as you can see, there's gonna be a nice slope so that the water can run off and go alongside the house. You don't want water to sit in your garage. You don't want water to get in and sneak under your garage door. That's not what's happening. So right here, these are the ceiling joists that they're putting in. And these nice, like very yellow boards that you see right there are called LVL. So it's like laminated um, something, something. I don't know what it stands for. I, I've Googled it before, but it's a bunch of uh, wood glued together for high pressure. So they're actually carrying a ton of weight. They're very, very important to carry your roof system, to carry areas where there's just like high load bearing walls. Okay, so you got another one in here. I'll show you kind of loud with the compressor but it is what it is if you come in here and you just look up here the board actually says LVL on the side right there so if you can zoom in real good they're knocking these out they're killing it all these ceiling joists are going in they're almost done literally so I'm excited can't wait to get more progress and just keep on progressing throughout this build because this house is coming together we're about to make a house a home here very shortly All right, so I wanted to give you all a different angle of what was going on here. So as they're working on the garage, you can see they're putting the two by eights for the ceiling joists. We got my man Alex up there killing it. Um, so that's the LVL. I know the other way the sun was kind of shining really bright, but if you zoom in on that corner, you'll see there's about one, two, three, four studs holding that LVL up. And that's going to be holding the entire ceiling system right there. And then the roof as well. So you've got to understand that 
these LVLs are carrying tons and tons and tons of weight. That's what's allowing your house to be structurally sound. There's a lot of structural integrity in these LVLs. However, where there's not a lot of structural integrity is in these makeshift scaffolds that these guys make. You tell them safety first, you tell them, yo, like, can you guys please, 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 please be safe? And they're just like, okay, okay, okay. And that's what they make. Those things are literally just like bouncing around. Look at these. Look, at, look we're going to come into my living room area, okay? Like, <laughs> I mean, I guess they're structurally sound. And if you've ever seen framing, they're just crazy, man. Absolutely local, bro. Like, come on, man. Look at this. Hey, I, I guess a ladder's made out of something too. So at the end of the day, if it works for them and it's all nailed into the walls, um, it just blows my mind how they do stuff. Like, they're, they're not afraid. There's no fear like I always say in my videos they're just like yo just we're just trying to work fast we're trying to work hard we're trying to get the job done but i am extremely excited um i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna do some uh gravel spreading around i'm gonna get the bobcat i got a small skid steer here actually so if we could show my brother allows me to use the skid steer right there so it's a caterpillar he just got this one for small jobs and everything like that so i'm gonna jump in there uh move some gravel around and just get to work because this has to get into the front porch the back porch and the garage has got to get spread out as well just to make it all comfortable so we can move around so why don't we jump into that get some more progress and keep working All right, y'all, these guys are absolutely crazy. They are obviously not afraid of heights. I am terrified of heights, but I have gone skydiving at least once in my life. So I guess that conquered every fear I ever had. Uh, but anyways, they're finishing up the ceiling joists here through the garage. Um, they're doing a great job. They're, block they're doing the side um, area where they're doing the blocks um, for just where the entire ceiling um, ends up ending on this side of the plywood. So this is just a, I believe this is a half inch plywood. I'm not even sure to be honest, but whatever it is, um, it's done, you know, it's beautiful. It's wrapped around the entire house and we're just definitely getting a lot of progress here. Uh, this is something that gets me really excited because the roof's coming up next and when that roof is up, guess what? We put some plywood down on that roof and then we get the shingles on and this house does not get rained on. So my roof's actually gonna be a 612 pitch, um, which is not one of these. So it's gonna be a lot more flat um, where you know my roofer, whoever's doing the shingles and everything is going to be so excited because they're not walking up freaking Mount Everest every time they're putting down the shingles. But anyways, let's keep progressing and let's just get to work. <laughs>
Oh. Oh my gosh, dude, I did not know you were filming outside. But anyway, sometimes you get stuck in there and it gets all claustrophobic, so you gotta get out. But regardless, we're gonna end out this video. I am so happy with all the progress going on. Um, all the ceiling joists done, um, the house wrapped around with plywood. I got gravel inside the front porch, the garage. Next thing that's happening, guess what? Our roof is getting put in. Um, it is a stick roof, so it's all getting made by the framers. Um, I have everything back there, and I'm not doing like pre-made trusses that you can order and then you get them in and you just put them in. So if you're wondering about that, I get a lot of questions. People are like, are you using pre-made trusses? Are you using trusses? No, I'm not using trusses. They are going to stick build it, which just means they're gonna take the lumber that I provided and they're going to build it from scratch. But regardless, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on all social platforms. But most importantly, make sure you follow me on TikTok I can edit so quickly on there and post literally within like 30 seconds. Make sure you check out nicospropertyshow.com. Grab you some merch, maybe a crew neck, a hoodie, or a hat. And guess what? Why not? I'm going to go ahead and drop you all a discount code. And it's going to be NICO in all caps. Get your 10% off. Grab you some merch. Support the movement. And without further ado, guess what? I will see you in the next video. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Peace out.